What is up everybody? Welcome back to Zenith TV. Click like, subscribe, all that mumbo jumbo. But today we are talking about why your weight is not dropping fast enough. Why? Let's go, let's check it out. You know that I was made for this. I was made for this. I was made for this. Welcome back everybody, Mark Davis of zenithfit.co.uk. If you haven't done already, click like here, subscribe to the video if you wanna see more of what I have to say about stuff, health and fitness wise. Um, but yeah, let's get into this video. So, <clears throat> excuse me, today's video is about why you aren't burning or why you aren't losing weight quickly enough. Um, and this is something that happens to a lot of people. Your weight has plateaued, you're training really hard, you're dieting hard, but your weight has stayed the same. And I get this happens a lot to people and I get it gets frustrating, but it could be down to numerous different factors. Now, first, you are probably cutting out some carbohydrates from your diet. You're probably cutting out some fats from your diet because you're reducing your calories. But what you're probably doing as well is you are increasing the volume of food that you eat. So say you're eating a lot more vegetables, a lot more salads, and these actually weigh. Yes, they're less in calories, so you're still hitting your calories, but they, they still weigh, don't they? So as you eat it, you are going to be adding weight to your body, not, not body fat. Listen to me now. Listen carefully. We're not adding body fat to your diet. We are adding weight into your body, aren't we? Because that food is increased volume because you want to feel fuller. You want to fill up that em empty void within your stomach. And you're doing so with much healthier options, full of microvitamins, full of good, healthy nutrients. But it does weigh. So that can go into the kind of weight aspect of your body. So you might weigh a bit more if you're eating a larger volume of food. Wow, I've rumbled on about that too much. Also, if you're eating foods that you're not usually used to, your digestive tract is going to take a bit of time to adjust to those foods, to get used to it, to digest it properly so you can pass it on through the body. All right. So again, it could sit in your digestive system for a bit longer than usual, meaning you might weigh a bit more initially. So there are a couple of reasons why. Now, usually, if you're trying to lose weight, you are going to be on a some form of training program. You're going to be exercising. Now, if you exercise and you're lifting some resistance, you're lifting weights, you're going to be building a bit of lean body mass, which, again, is going to create a little bit more weight. Um, also, you're going to end up with some more inflammation in the muscles. And again, this can cause fluctuations in weight because say, for example, you've done a really heavy leg day and your legs are killing and you're like, wow, that was epic. And you step on the scales, you're like, how have I not lost any weight? I've just had an unbelievable training session. Well, it will be a bit from the actual inflammation of the muscles that are causing that kind of weight gain. So we need to look at staying away from focusing on weight because like i've just shown here it can fluctuate in different ways so we need to look at different things so we need to look at your how your clothes fit how your measurements are so just get a measuring tape you can measure yourself as a far more accurate way of seeing if you are losing body fat or your body is changing which is what we want isn't it, at the end of the day so there's a couple of things we need to look at here you need to be consistent with a few things you need to be consistent with your diet and you need to be consistent with your training. If you keep doing this, you will get the desired results that you want with patience. Like I said in previous videos, we are humans, we are not very patient. So we need to really stick this for the long term and be patient. And don't worry about the weight fluctuating a bit. Also, sleep can come into it. So if you don't sleep sufficiently enough, I definitely don't sleep enough. But if you don't sleep enough, it can play havoc again with weight fluctuation. So we're looking at things like the volume of food. We're looking at your diet your digestive tract not digesting food as fast as it normally would initially. It will eventually, but not initially. We're looking at inflammation of the muscles as we train. We're looking at building lean body mass. Not sleeping enough can also have fluctuations with your weight. So there are so many different factors. Whether you, if you're what, well, you probably are drinking more water. So again, that's going to increase weight to the body. Um, if you're drinking a litre of water, you could end up adding about a kilo of weight to your body, which again isn't body fat, it's just weight. So this is why we need to get away from that unhealthy relationship in regards to weight and then stick the course and everything will start to even out your body will get used to your training your body will get used to your new food and you will start to see those scales drop even though we're not bothered about that are we we're looking at body fat and your body shape changing okay so hopefully guys you have enjoyed this video if you have click a like if you want to see more of me of moi click subscribe a little bit lower visit my instagram page instagram up here i think i've just put it up here Awesome Instagram page. Check that out. Ask me questions on there. 
and I will get back to you via YouTube because you can vlog on YouTube, which is amazing, isn't it? So have a great day. What is left of it, guys? Stay strong and I'll see you all on the next video.